Hey guys, Crewman here, and I was excited to do a video completely unrelated to this this morning. It was a pet project that I was working on, and it's been on the back burner for way too long. I'm about 75% finished it. I was going to finish it today, and I was super excited to get it out, and poof! Copatite 7 Kimmy releases this bombshell this morning, and that ended that plan for the day. In this video, I wanted to focus how this would affect the mining side of things, rather than the gaming side, because I think that's been talked about quite a bit, and we still don't have all of the picture uh, as far as gaming, but we can piece together a majority of the mining hash rates now for the 50 series, and newsflash, I think you guys are all going to be pretty disappointed, especially when we get down to the lower end of the product stack. Now, this is a ton of information to take in on this one tweet. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this tweet and kind of try to dumb it down to the best of my knowledge. And then I'm going to try to extrapolate the data compared to the 40 series and get a clear picture of Blackwell. Now remember, this is all rumors and this is a guess. So this video could be totally invalid in a few weeks or months after this, you know, after this video drops. Without further ado, let's get to it. This video is sponsored by me, Crewman Tech and Mining, and my channel. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and come here for all of your gaming GPU, mining GPU, uh, a little bit of ASIC commentary, some PC builds, all of that. I cover all. I cover a complete spread of gaming and mining on this channel. The motto of my channel is: Every gamer is a miner when they find out their GPUs can make them some money and most miners are gamers so I like to bridge a space so if you like this content please like and sub you'll go a long way towards supporting my channel and enabling me to bring you more content like this okay so let's quickly break down this tweet if it looks like complete gibberish to you alright so the first part as you can see right over here the name of the die and basically what that means is that is the name of the full die um, the graphics card now that graphics card theoretically does not have a name because it is not out yet now the 5090 will be a cut down version of GB202 for example AD102 which is the Halo GPU die for Ada Lovelace which is the 4000 series and the 4090 is a cut down version of 8102. As far as I know, it's about 88-ish percent of 8102. Whereas the 4070 Ti Super is a cut down version of 8103. And the 4080 Super is basically the maxed out version of 8103. You can see the difference in CUDA cores to reinforce my example. So essentially these dies, GB202, 203, 205, 207, and 206 and 207, are not specific GPUs, but the max capacity of those dies. Usually, like the, the 5090, the 5080, the 5070, 5060, they will all be cut down versions of that in some form or another. The SM count right here. Now, without getting into too much on the SMs, because I honestly barely understand it, essentially, the SMs will determine how much power you're going to get on the core. So, like, uh, the CUDA cores. We don't know exactly how many CUDA cores will be in Blackwell per SM, but you can kind of essentially compare this to 4000 series and get some kind of idea on the hash rate for core algorithms. Next, we have the memory bit bus, which, as you know, uh, goes a long way to determining the hash rate of memory algorithms and you can see that right there and then and then finally you can see the memory type note basically every SKU is using GDDR7 minus 207 which is GDDR6 according to the rumor another interesting thing to note is that mega size GPU who I've spoken to before asked Copatite if 207 is limited to GDDR6 and he says probably not so we don't know for sure so I'm, but I am going to go off uh, this rumor for the purposes of this video. The next thing you need to know is you're going to get about 30-ish percent increase in, in memory performance from GDDR6 to 7. Now I, I you know, I'm just going off of Micron's page uh, because that's essentially all we have to go off of. But you can expect around a 33 percent, and I'll put a link down below so you can read this should you care. So taking all that information. Combined with this videocards.com article linked down below uh, where they basically kind of show you on this chart that they made conveniently difference in the SM count whether it's positive or negative 
which kind of gives you an idea of the core hash rate for mining, I have put together this simple chart to give you basically an idea of what I'm talking about. So essentially, all I did was I put the about 30% memory improvement uh, from the GDDR6 to 7 change. And you can see here, minus GB202 and GB203, the rest of the stack is pretty damn disappointing. Essentially, if you compare this to ADA, then you're looking at not that impressive stats, especially the lower you get down the stack. Now, essentially what I did was I basically simplified the chart by adding the 30% difference in GDDR6 to GDDR7 memory. So you can see from GB202 down the stack to 207, the change in terms of compute power. And then finally what I did was I took this and I simplified it in terms of straight hash rate for core algorithms and memory algorithms. Now this is all compared to the 40 series equivalents. So as you can see right here, GB202 is gonna be a house. But remember, GB202 is not the 5090. It is a lockdown version of it. Since the 5090 is a cut down version of 202, I would guess we'd probably get about 20% improvement in core algorithm along with the same 30% memory. So if you look at 203, you're looking at about a 5% improvement in core algorithm and a 30% in memory algorithm, which is not incredible, but it's still not terrible. The memory improvement is very nice. But GB205, to 206 to 207, which will be the mid-range to budget elements of the stack is where it gets really ugly. If you look at GB205, you're looking at a minus 17% on the core algorithm and a plus 30% on memory algorithm, which somehow makes it kind of a wash. And then if you look at GB206 and 207, it gets worse. Now 207, at least it hasn't been totally confirmed that it is only gonna use GDR6, but we're going based on Copatite's rumors. And if that is the case, then it is going to be an absolute piece of garbage for mining. As well as GB206 will be better, but as you know, if it's priced the same as say the 4060 Ti now, it could be serviceable, but if it's priced anymore, ouch. So essentially, minus GB202 and 203, unless these prices are going to be basically less than what we see now these things are going to be trash for mining uh now you know I, i've been pretty accurate on predicting my hash rates um but to be fair we had a lot more information when i was doing my predictions on the 40 series like the 4060 ti's anyway than what we do now so this could be totally wrong but if it's not this looks really bad guys especially if we're going to get some kind of price increase because we always do on the 5000 series this is going to be a, a no-go for mining one thing i do want to share this is from user haro kz5719 who i follow and he's uh as far as i know he seems to be a pretty okay leaker he kind of put together a spreadsheet of what he guesses the cuda count could be and if his spreadsheet is accurate now i haven't seen anyone confirm this and i have not seen any where uh, I haven't been able to find any other info on CUDA accounts. So if anybody can confirm this or if they find anything, please let me know. This essentially kind of confirms what we are thinking on the core algorithm performance based on the guesstimate of the CUDA account compared to the 40 series. Basically, what I'm saying, guys, is anybody who's waiting for Blackwell because they think it's the savior of GPU mining is going to be sorely disappointed unless you're going to buy GB202 and 203 which depending on the price they go for they may not even be worth it say compared to buying older GPUs like 170HXs or even some of the, the higher end 40 series it may be a complete bust for mining especially at the lower end so I guess we'll have to wait and see, but so far, these early rumors do not look good. I, you know, I've been saying that I don't think Blackwell is going to be the savior that everyone thinks it's going to be for GPU mining, and it certainly is looking that way based on these leaks. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope I didn't ruin your day. Uh, please like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments whether you agree with this or you don't agree with it, and if it's going to change your mindset of whether you're buying Blackwell or not. So, thanks again. Please like and subscribe. Crew man, out.